Namaste, at least good morning here in Europe. Um, and uh, good morning uh, uh, or good afternoon uh, in Asia. I'm Raymond van Holder. Uh, I'm uh, a retired nephrologist from Ghent in Belgium, and I'm chairing this session, which will be um, very interesting, I think. Uh, at the same time, uh, I must say that we are the first probably to test live this system, and um, uh, we are some sort of guinea pig, so we are uh, just uh, making a tryout, and uh, we can see how uh, nicely it works. Um, thanks to Jaffron International uh, for, um, in, uh, for organizing this symposium with very interesting topics, I think. Uh, starting with an interesting clinical study um, and randomized control trial that has been undertaken in China. Then uh, an Italian uh, study on uh, uremic toxins, which are, of course, also very important uh, topics. And finally, um, uh, something else that concerns us all, which is uh, hemoperfusion, or more exactly COVID-19, and um, the cytokine storm uh, from which uh, the patients uh, are suffering. Um, without further ado, and asking the speakers to keep as much as possible to the time lots that they have been allotted, I would like to invite uh, as a first speaker, uh, Dr. Gengru Jiang uh, from uh, Shanghai, um, with um, its uh, presentation on this randomized open label trial on hemoperfusion, which is interesting because it is considering uh, not only uh, mortality and cardiovascular morbidity, which is of course very important to our patients, but also um, their quality of life. So now I give the word uh, to Dr. Jiang. Okay, uh, Professor Reinhold, thank you very much for the introduction. Background, we know the number of end-stage renal disease patients will exceed 5.4 million in 2030 globally, which places a heavy economic burden there are about 0 0.8 million end-stage renal disease patients in mainland of China. The all-cause mortality rate is higher in humanized patients aged over 65 years, and cardiovascular disease accounts for the major cause of death cases. So, we designed a clinical trial to evaluate the effect of hemodialysis of hemoperfusion therapy on maternity rate, cardiovascular events, and the rough quality in maternity hemodialysis patients. The trial is a randomized open label perigroup multi center study which handed by Tsinghua Hospital a 22 Shanghai Jotong University School of Medicine through the Dalit centers in Shanghai participated in this trial. The trial lasted for five years and 1,407 patients were enrolled. Patients in the control arm received two to three hemodialysis or hemodialysis filtration therapy each week, while patients in the hemoperfusion arm received an extra treatment of hemoperfusion every two weeks. The trial is registered in Chinese clinical trial registry. Patients aged 18 to 75 who have two years of dialysis history and receive two to three times of hemodialysis or hemodialysis filtration treatment per week. 
four to five hours each time. And with the capital V more than 1.2 in the latest eight weeks were enrolled. All patients signed the formal consent. Patients with low rough expectancy, low white blood cell or plate later in a history of, of cerebral hemorrhage or masses in the past eight weeks, accessory were excluded. All patients receive a four week regular blood blood purification treatment before intervention. At week 4, 12, 24, 48, 70, 72, and 96 days of the visit. Blood samples and the primary endpoint all cause mortality, secondary endpoint. Cardiovascular mortality, major cardiovascular events, and the quality of life were recorded. Kaplan Mayer method, followed by the log leg test, was used in analyzing the primary out outcome. Mutual variate, variate Cox regression were used to analyze the factors that could influence all cause mortality and cardiovascular disease mortality after the adjustment for multiple relevant traditional and eliminate related risk factors for mortality. There are 142 drop off cases. It is seven in hemoperfusion arm, 55 in control arm. The main reason for the drop off are contact lost, transplant, and patient quit, and adverse events. <clears throat> All cause mortality in him, in him, skin profession um, start to reduce significantly since 24 weeks, and the mortality gap between the two groups increased gradually over time. Femi perfusion therapy can significantly reduce all cause mortality. Cardiovascular mortality in hemoperfusion perfusion group group was 37 percent lower than that in control compared with the control um, cardiovascular mortality in every perfusion group decreased significantly from 24 weeks. So every perfusion therapy can significantly reduce cardiovascular mortality. New or recurrent cardiovascular events in hemo perfusion group were significantly lower than those in the control group. Event number in hemo perfusion arm is 6.25% and 9.39% in control. Long term regular hemo perfusion therapy can reduce new or recurrent cardiovascular events and effectively prevent and treat, treat cardiovascular complications in dialysis patients. After 90, 96 weeks of treatment, the increase of scores in symptoms and discomfort, cognitive location, and social support in hemoperfusion arm were significantly higher than lose in control group. After 96 weeks of treatment, the overall scores increase of lower physical body pain, general health, 
low emotional and SF36 total scores in the femoral perfusion arm was significantly higher than those in control group. But a two microglobin in hemophilia fusion group, group decreased significantly after 48 in 96 weeks of treatment. The decrease of beta 2 microglobin in hemophilia fusion group was significantly higher than that in control group after 96 weeks of treatment. The intact Pyrethroid hormone in control group increased after 96 weeks, while hemoperfusion group reduced 47.72 picogram per meal. There was no significant difference in blood lutein liver function blood lipid and blood sugar between the groups before and after treatment. So, conclusion, all cause mortality rate in the hemopure fusion group decreased by 37% compared to the control group. In the hemopure fusion group, the all cause mortality is 7.53%, while in the control it is 11.95%. Cardiovascular mortality rate decreased by 37% compared to the control group. The neural emerging or re emerging cardiovascular events rate in the hemoperfusion group was significantly lower than those in the control group. Hemoperfusion group had a significantly higher increase in symptoms and discomfort, cognitive function and social support than the control group. So, uh, hemoperfusion group had a significantly higher increase in lower physical body pain, general health, lower emotion, and SF36 that the control group. The hemoperfusion group had a more significant decrease in beta 2 microglobin and the intact pyrethroid hormone than the control group. There was no significant difference in the change of blood, routine, liver, function, lipid, and blood sugar level before and after the treatment between the two groups. So, uh, there was a significant difference. HD, FP will become the potential new treatment modality for maternity hemodialysis patients. We protonet hemodialysis combined the hemoperfusion treatment reduced cardiovascular events, all cause in the cardiovascular deaths in maternity hemodialysis patients. Our future plan is to expand the inclusion criteria to increase the exterior validity and test more. Uh, indicators. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Zhang, for this uh, interesting and uh, beautiful talk and uh, for staying so well within your uh, time limits. Uh, we will hold the discussion only after the, um, the last speaker.